Okay, I'm back. Um, my coffee filter. Everyone at Starbucks got a kick out of my mask. So I was going to get coffee and walk around Target and um, talk about coffee and what's new at Target. But you can't because I have to keep a mask on the whole time I'm in there. So there's a sign at Starbucks that says, if you get a coffee drink, you know, go out to your car and drink your coffee in your car because we don't want you to take your mask off and start drinking coffee. So we're doing a quick coffee review. So what I got, look, she spelled my name. Thank you to Erica at the Stroudsburg Target Starbucks. She made me two special drinks. This is actually a cold brew pumpkin cream. It is made with soy milk. So a lot of the stuff you can it's hard to transfer some of their drinks over to be vegan you can do vegetarian pretty easily if you do some dairy or whatever but uh this is called a pumpkin cream cold brew and i got it made with soy milk so let's see taste test real quick not wasting a ton of time uh taste testing these because this is just throwing this out there and i was craving something fall it's overcast it's kind of cool out today let's get a taste It's good. I mean, mm, it's got that cold brew little bit of bitterness in it. You know, I always think cold brew has this little, like, tiny little bit of bitter flavor in the back of your throat. It's not overly sweet. If you don't like something overly sweet, this is great. The soy milk, I think, smooths it out a lot. The soy milk seems to smooth out that uh, weird cold brew coffee bitiness. Mm, let me try again. It's good. I like it. I could drink this whole thing right now. Let's see. That first sip feeling. Let us add a little joy to your day. Join Starbucks Rewards. Oh, okay. Anyway. Um, yeah, so this is S-P-E-C-F-P-C-C-B. Pumpkin, cold brew, and soy milk. Um, so it's tasty. It's not overly pumpkin-y. The pumpkin flavor is a little mild. I kind of expected a little bit more, but I think I'm used to those pumpkin, you know, the PSLs and they're like pumpkin. This is very mild pumpkin. Um, not super, I really smell the nutmeg. Mm. Overall, mm, I don't wanna be too harsh on it. Cause I mean, it's a very simple drink. So it's nothing fancy. I'd say seven and a half out of 10. So, okay, so here's the, uh, the main, <laughs> here is the main uh, event here. Now, this is weird for me because I usually, as I told Erica, I usually do not get whipped cream because I have super, super bad dairy sensitivities. I usually get a pink drink or I get, uh, what is it? The dragon one or whatever there's, or a purple drink. I get things with coconut milk because I, my stomach, I just can't do dairy. But I am suffering for my art today. I'm suffering to create this video. I may be in the bathroom all day today with stomach cramps. We don't know. I will report back. I hope not. I really hope not. And I know everybody goes, oh, you're vegan. You're having whipped cream. You know what? I am not a, I mean, I'm pretty religious vegan. I don't usually go out and I never, I don't eat meat. I haven't eaten meat in I want to say it's almost six years now. I don't plan to start. I don't ever want to go back to eating meat. Occasionally, if I have anything with a little bit of dairy in it, I try not to beat myself up. It's life. It's some things you can't replace. My problem with whipped cream is this. I cannot find a vegan whipped cream or a vegetarian whipped cream, whatever. I can't find a non-dairy whipped cream that does not have carrageenan in it. And don't suggest any because I have tried, I've read the ingredients. I cannot have carrageenan at all. Carrageenan is a huge trigger sensitivity for me. I'm usually sick for one to two days if I ingest anything with carrageenan. That's why I have to read every single label and my husband hates shopping with me. I have to read labels on everything. I accidentally had a non-dairy ice cream that had carrageenan in it. It was a Ben and Jerry's. Some of theirs have it, some of theirs don't. I just assumed they all didn't because the first ones I tried didn't. 
I had carrageenan in this Ben and Jerry's ice cream. I was sick for two days. Um, stomach cramps, doubled over, cold sweats. I can't do it. Um, so sometimes at the risk of, uh, I can't get a non-dairy whipped cream anywhere. Um, Ready Whip makes one. It has carrageenan in it. I've checked other ones at our health food store. They have carrageenan in it. They all have something that triggers my food uh, sensitivity. So I have real whipped cream and we're just going to all deal with it. Don't come at me going, oh, vegan, vegan. don't even, because I'm 51. I'm too old to hear your crap. And you know what? If I was, uh, nobody is hundred percent vegan. If you are, you live in the woods with a bunch of animals. You don't live in a house that was built on land that got taken away from them. You don't drive a car on roads that are paved through where they used to live. You step on bugs accidentally. There's no such thing as a pure 100% vegan. Shit happens, okay? Sorry. I'm sorry to be the bearer of uncomfortable truths. Um, it is, I do want to do a thing called um, uncomfortable conversations. One of them is nobody is 100% vegan. They can argue they are. By the fact that you're a human being born on this planet, you can never be 100% vegan. The clothes you wear, you could try to be as careful about everything. I mean, I was working in my yard. I was gardening, trying to grow your own food. You accidentally kill bugs. I, I apologize to the bugs. I'm like, I'm really sorry. If you're digging in the soil, I have to be careful to not kill all the worms. I love little worms. Try not to kill them. But, you know, you're driving on the road. You run over bugs. What are you going to do? Never drive? Never leave your, well, never leave your house. I haven't done that all year. <laughs> so, um, COVID-19 and becoming 100% vegan, my future video. Uh, anyway, so here we have, getting back, I just went way off topic, and now this is going to be super long. Um, this is the funnel cake frappuccino. I did have it made with soy milk. It has, uh, what you ask for is a vanilla, vanilla frappuccino, I think. And then you get a caramel drizzle on the inside of the cup with cinnamon dolce powder. And you get a squirt of toffee nut syrup, I believe. And then on the whipped cream, you get the cinnamon dolce powder. So this is supposed to be phenomenal. I did get it with soy milk, but it does have real whipped cream on top, which I'm not going to be like chowing on the whipped cream. There might be some in there. This is mostly soy milk. So don't come at me about the vegan thing, people who know me. Just don't. I ain't the one. I ain't, it, it ain't the time. I ain't the mood. I'm doing this for all the people who don't mind whipped cream, I guess. And Or if you can find or you want to try to make this at home and you can find a non-dairy whipped cream and you're not bothered by carrageenan, knock yourself out. That's not me. Okay, so tasting, tasting. Funnel cake frappuccino. For one thing, it smells great because the cinnamon dolce powder on the top. Oh my God. I could just put it on everything. Taking a huge sip. Closing my eyes. <laughs> Making a weird face because it it is so good. It's really good. To me, it doesn't taste at all like a funnel cake, though. I want some of this powder. I think the... I think the toffee nut for me doesn't, the toffee nut syrup doesn't make it taste so much like a funnel cake. I would almost use some other kind of syrup in there. I don't know what. I'd have to look at their list of syrups. I mean, it's really good. I don't know if I get like funnel cake. I just get like a really good toffee nut caramel cinnamon thing. I know what they're trying to say, but I've never tasted like a toffee nut. I'm a toffee nut fanatic. I love toffee in general. That flavor um, this is so good though. Now I don't, I want to drink this before I go in and go shopping. Mm -hmm. Look, I am drinking this down. This is so good. Oh, it's very nutty to me though. I don't, I don't get funnel cake from it. That's just me. Uh, again, the, uh, I think it's, um, the recipes is totallythebomb.com. I believe I can put the link below uh, where I found it. And it's probably on Pinterest and all over. But it's been popping up in my feed for the past week or so, I think, or something like that. Everybody's like, this is the new thing. It's a funnel cake. I thought it was weird to do funnel cake, like, at the end of the summer before Labor Day. Because 
I always associate funnel cakes with like summer festivals, um, state fairs, that kind of stuff. I would have thought like funnel cake in like June, but okay, whatever. I like I said, I ain't mad at them. It's tasty. It's good. I like it. I'm gonna go um, do my shopping in Target. Look to see what's new. Might do a little filming in there. People think I'm a weirdo. Like I care. Look at me. I'm in my purple Jeep with my bright purple shirt. I don't care. And, and I'm walking around wearing my coffee filter mask, which everybody loves. I get lots of, I never go out with any plain mask. All my masks are like goofy or funny or colorful or have sayings on them or faces or something. It's like, if I got to wear a mask, I'm not going to be boring about it. That's all. I, and I like to make people smile. I like to, if I go out, it sucks that people are nervous and paranoid and you have to wear a mask or So I figure if I have to wear a mask, then I'm at least going to make it fun and maybe give people a smile or something because I'm a clown. Oh, oh. Glass clown right here. Um, and like I said, two, oh, there's a lady walking by with a galaxy mask on. Oh, nice mask. It's all like pink swirly with stars and purple. It's like a pink and purple galaxy mask. See, she knows what's going on. She knows where it is. Okay. I'm putting on my mask. And that was my little coffee review. So both of those, again, the pumpkin cream cold brew right here. And the, um, I'm just calling it a toffee nut frappuccino. I'm sorry. It's supposed to be a funnel cake frappuccino. But it is really good. Uh, and I will put a link below of where it is and where I found it. And it's pretty good. That And if you get the pumpkin cold brew and you want it to be non-dairy, just tell them you want it with soy milk. So, and it's good. It's, I mean, I don't think anybody, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. I don't think I'd tell the difference. Maybe someday to suffer from my art, I'll get one regular and one soy and just take a little sip of the regular. But I really, I can't do dairy. Like that little bit of whipped cream, I think I'll be okay because, see, it's still all floating on the top. I didn't mix it in. I didn't stir it, if you notice. I didn't mix it. That might also affect why it doesn't have such a funnel cake flavor, to be fair. I didn't stir in the whipped cream and the cinnamon dolce uh, powder. Maybe it tastes more like a funnel cake if you mix it in, but I'm, I wanted it to look pretty, and I wanted to try it the way you're supposed to order it, um, and not eat the whipped cream, so that might change a little bit. Anyway, okay, I'll be back. I am going in Target. Let's go see what's new. Uh, I'm, I'm just blowing, wasting time today. And gonna walk around Target and see what kind of new stuff they have. And I got nobody at home waiting for me except my dogs, and they all ate and they're all napping now. So I'm gonna waste some time walking around Target and see what's new. I'll report back. <laughs>